So now that you've added your roof region, I'm going to work on the perspective tool. You access the perspective tool at the top of your screen. You can see the set, draw, fill, and perspective in the top left. We're going to tap perspective. That will bring up our perspective shape and also our perspective scale window. The first thing you're likely going to want to do is to move this scale window. It loads in a funny spot, so you simply press and hold within that window, and you can move it away from the roof cover. Next, you're going to want to assign your perspective by setting this yellow box up so that the arrow that you see is flowing in the same direction that the angle of the roof is flowing. So fortunately, this is pretty much a head-on shot, but you can see as we play with the corners of this, that arrow can change drastically. So if you're working with multiple slopes, a complex roof that you're trying to visualize, you can use this tool to get each one of those angles the way that you want it flowing to match up accordingly. Now, it's important to note that the shape of your perspective square does not need to match the shape of the roof region. What this perspective tool is looking to do, particularly this square, this square wants to know how big the space that it's covering is. So if you know, for example, that the space currently occupied by this square is 15 feet wide by 10 feet high. Hit done. You can see the perspective tool changes. You notice that the grid itself changed. You can see there the scale numbers. We'll move this again just to show you. The scale numbers now have changed so that that perspective that the visualizer has is matching up to those dimensions. Once you've set the perspective, hit done. So now you're going in the direction that, you're going, that you want to be going in in terms of the arrow. You've assigned the dimensions of that shape. Now we actually get into the visualizing part. By tapping on the bottom of the screen here, you see you have a row of options. Home, design, scenes, projects. Right now we're working in edit. You'll see it's highlighted blue and compare. So you can either go design with the eyeball icon or in the top right of the screen, hit visualize. So there's two different options to get there. We're going to use the visualize top right to hop in there. Now you're looking at it, you're saying, okay, I don't see the shape that I drew. I don't see any perspective. That's fine. But because what you'll see here is that your roof region exists, all roof. Remember from the previous preformatted homes tutorial, you only have one roof region because you typically don't see people mixing and matching uh, roof, uh, roof types, usually one uniform roof. So we have our roof shape. You can see here, all roof. Now we go in, we pick a material. In our case, we're going with shingle. We're going to pick a type, designer shingle. We're going to pick a style, landmark, and they're going to pick a color, charcoal black. Now, as you can see, and I'm going to minimize by hitting the table button in the top left, to shrink our screen. Color View Mobile applied landmark and charcoal black to the roof space that we drew earlier. You can see it's a little, a little off because we can find we can go back and fine tune this. In terms of the in the the front of the roof plane there along the eave, you can see by that above that second window, it's not quite right. However, you go back, reopen the table, and work within the colors. Each one that you tap, Color View Mobile applies that color. We set the perspective, we set the slope, and now we add the color. It's really that simple. You want to go back, go with a different shingle type. You want to go with something luxury like a carriage house, for example. 
Arachas Brownstone. Just like that, Colorview Mobile takes the region that you masked and applies the product that you've selected.